All right, we're live. Cool, so today I'm gonna go over uh, body segmentation in Spark. Um, if you just wanna grab the download files and uh, I don't know, you can, you can play around with it or not even watch the video, just download it from this URL, Fossil Lab Spark Segmentation. Um, all the files will be up there after um, the stream is done. So we're gonna start by pulling out the textures we need. Um, so we're gonna need the camera texture. Uh, I'll play the video, there we go. Um, we're gonna need the camera texture. So that's gonna be on the camera. And you just click this plus and it spits out a camera texture for you. And then the, uh, the body segmentation texture is in the same place, just click the plus. Um, so now we have those two things. Um, there's like settings you can play with. Um, if you want, I usually just leave them in defaults. Um, but if you're going for a really specific effect, these are some sliders um, you can tweak. So we're just going to add a canvas with a plane on it. Um, I used to add a rectangle, but for some reason the like the fit the fit the fit to canvas thing doesn't work super consistently. So um, I'm gonna use a plane. Um, now, one of, the, one of the patches I made, just cause this is something I do a lot, is the fit to screen patch. Um, you can find that on my GitHub as well. Um, so basically you just drag this device. Why is it doing this? Drag device onto the patch editor. Yes. Uh, the spark is misbehaving. I'll close it and open it. Okay. Um, I need the device. Well, I honestly have no idea why that, it says it's in there. I don't see it anywhere. Okay, well, restart. Not satisfied, it's not working. Uh, restart Spark. Okay, now it's there. My patch doesn't look correct, so I'm going to put it back in. There we go. All right, so um, just drag screen size and screen scale. Um, and then you want to get the actual plane scale. Um, so this button will insert that into the patch editor and then connect that. Um, so they keep changing this, so the the actual value is like 0.1 now, yeah. Um, so I'll have to update that for the new version. So we got that, um, let's, just to see the segmentation mask, we'll, we'll apply, where is that, material zero? Okay, now it's there. So you can see it, it uh, takes out the body um, so what can we do with that? Um, for starters, you can just, you can apply it directly to the material. Um, so instead of the segmentation, let's just use a camera texture, but that, that would be on the whole plane, as you can see here. So to just get the body segmentation, we're going to use the alpha of the segmentation mask. And then you can see that it's actually segmented the body. 
Um, but if you want to do if you want to do stuff beyond the the regular um, materials, like you, there's a couple of blend modes you can play with. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, then you can drag this stuff into the patch editor. So we'll get our camera texture output. Um, so we'll have to feed the camera texture back in the patch editor. So if we just do that, that would be equivalent. But of course, we're going to do something fancier than that. Um, so we're going to add, we'll just add a swizzle because it's, it's quick and easy. So swizzle is pretty cool. So X, X, Y, Z, W are the swizzle components. Um, but for color, it's RGBA. So just map those one to one. So X, X, X would be just red, 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 and then an alpha of one. So we feed that in and then feed it out. Why isn't that working? So it wants, oh, it wants, wait, four channel. It is four channel. Maybe swizzle's not working. Oh, okay, now it works. Um, so yeah, you, you can get a grayscale that way or you can do something crazier. You can do like Y, Z, X and get this funky effect. Let me see, put myself in there. Um, and you can see that effect is only applied on my body. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can do a lot with this. Of course, you can put anything in between um, the camera texture and then the output. Um, and that's it. Yep. Uh, check out the files on GitHub. And if you feel like it, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep doing these. Um, hopefully you guys like him. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.